Welcome to the December 2014 episode of Iowa City in Focus. I'm your host, Mary Bryant. Happy birthday, Iowa City! This month, we're marking our dear city's 175th year with three days of fun events and activities. On this month's episode, friends of Historic Preservation Board members Maeve Clark and Jeff Shabillion talk about the celebrations planned for Iowa City's 175th birthday. Then we'll hear from Janice Bell about the watercolor art show being held at the Senior Center as part of the city's birthday celebrations. And finally, we'll unveil the Food Waste Reduction music video previewed in the November episode of Iowa City in Focus. Stay tuned! Hi Jeff, how are you? I'm fine and I'm excited about this opportunity. Yeah, we're going to talk about the celebration of Iowa City's 175th birthday. Right, and I think it's a wonderful opportunity uh, for people to come downtown Iowa City and celebrate because Iowa City's downtown is such an incredible architectural mosaic of the past, the present, and the future as represented by the building cranes. Well, absolutely, I was coming back into town on Friday night and we looked up, we were coming out from the fairgrounds, we looked up and we saw the Iowa City skyline and it's, you can see some, some old things but then those new cranes are all lit up. So it is uh, certainly an amalgam of the past, present and the future. So before we start talking about the tour that Friends of Historic Preservation will be doing on Saturday, the 6th of the December, I'm going to give a little rundown of what's happening. So on the 5th, Friday, um, there'll be a celebration of Blue Zones work sites, and that's a very, very new thing. It's a healthy initiative that the state is involved in and the city of Iowa City, and the city of Iowa City is now a Blue Zone workplace, at least in two two parts of the city, City Hall and the Senior Center. And then at the Senior Center, which we'll talk about that building a little later on, there will be a show of the Iowa Watercolor Society traveling show. But we're gonna talk about the sixth now. So that's okay. Saturday. There'll be an arts and craft bazaar at the Iowa City Public Library in a used book sale. I doubt if you'll find a book that's 175 years old, but maybe. You never know what happens <laughs> at a used book sale. Then we're going to do some historic tours of downtown Iowa City. So let's talk about what you were just saying earlier about the downtown and the buildings in downtown Iowa City. So on the tour, do you think we'll see anything that was built 175 years ago? No, uh, no. no, but we will see some fabulously interesting old buildings. And one of the things that's nearest and dearest to my heart in historic preservation is some of the important adaptive uses that Sweet. have been found for some of our old buildings, like the Carnegie Library, like the old post office. They're still serving Iowa City's population and they're still part of the landscape of Iowa City. And certainly the fabric of downtown Iowa City, right. what makes it so yeah. very interesting. So it, can you imagine back or think back to what you know about Iowa City 175 years ago? What kind of buildings would have been in downtown Iowa well, City? Well, you still would have had log cabins, you know, started around, and some of the older stone houses mm -hmm. that we see now would have been there in, by mm -hmm. the 1840s. On what would have been the outskirts of Iowa yes, City at that yes. point. Yes, yes. And there were probably ones downtown too, but they would be among those, you know, the log cabins and the little stone houses would be amongst the first to go. Why don't we share with the, um, the viewers one of the things that's going to be available for purchase at the Iowa City yeah. Public Library during those three days of celebration. So this map, which is a fantastic map, and I believe it's 1854, and it will be available at the library. It's going to cost $5, and we've had some wonderful cooperation from Goodfellow Printing on helping make this available. So I think that almost anybody who lives in Iowa City, whether they're a student or a parent or just a, a citizen, would really, really enjoy having this map because it's got some very interesting drawings of the structures, some that are here, some that aren't here any longer, and then just what Iowa City looked like in 18, 1854. Mm -hmm. We'll come back soon to Maeve and Jeff for more information on the events planned for Iowa City's 175th birthday. But first, let's hear from Janice Bell about the art show Maeve mentioned earlier. 
I am a watercolor artist and I am the chairperson for the State Iowa Watercolor Society. I am in charge of scheduling and working with the traveling show that is done each year. Starting in December, the Iowa Watercolor Society traveling show will be in Iowa City and it will be in Iowa City for the month of December through the end of January. The Watercolor Society show has 31 paintings in it. Um, they represent 29 different Iowa artists. Uh, the paintings are landscapes, florals, abstracts, uh, quite a variety of subject matter. Some of them are entirely taken from nature, others are taken from personal experience, and some of them are just downright fantasy and uh, lots of different techniques are used within the paintings. Some of them are very realistic. Uh, some of them are very loosely done. And uh, it's just a, a very pleasing show because of the amount of variety that is in the show. Public is welcome to come in at any time, view the show. And uh, we just hope people will come by and enjoy it. The show has not been in Iowa City in over 20 years, so this is a first time occurrence in a long time that this quality of show has come into Iowa City. One of the things that the Iowa Watercolor Society tries to do is promote the arts throughout the state of Iowa, particularly focusing on watercolor painting. It is a statewide organization and it has amateur members, beginners, as well as professionals, so it is important to uh, that people come and see the show, get an idea of what is going on within the state of Iowa and how much talent really exists within the state. Now let's return to Maeve Clark and Jeff Shabillion for more about Iowa City's historic buildings and more fun events planned for its 175th birthday. I think that map will help point out to, to people that, that what the structures were some that are gone, some that are still there, and why they're so important, and just that core center city part of Iowa City. And, and the adaptation, I mean, there's not a lot of people that realize that the hospital movement in Iowa City started where it did, how it mushroomed into a huge complex, much of which that's left is called Seashore Hall now, and part of biology and so forth before it made the leap across the, the west river. Side oh, the there's river. so much to talk about in <laughs> yeah. downtown Iowa City. Yeah. So that's the tour. We do encourage everyone to, to come to those tours. And people can gather at the at the library mm -hmm. so that they well, will Well, and they stand. go to the craft sale and the used book yeah, sale to too. keep warm. <laughs> and then at, at um, four o'clock, the Old Capitol Chorus, Harmony Chorus, and Quartets will be performing at the Senior Center. And the Senior Center, I don't think we emphasized enough, is what used to be the United States Post Office. Yes. That's absolutely splendid, splendid building. Yes. Yeah. And then this is really exciting, I think, because we don't often have winter fireworks in Iowa City. In <laughs> fact, the last time I remember winter, winter fireworks were the, when Hancher did it over the Iowa River, but these will be downtown. Also, there'll be a horse-drawn trolley rides through downtown Iowa City, so if you don't want to walk and take the tour, that's another opportunity. And free photos with Santa. And then um, there'll be open houses at City Hall for the fire department and the police department, and those will be 1230 to 3. And then at the rec center, which is celebrating its 50th birthday, so not quite, it's 175th, they will be having um, free roller skating. And then for a dollar, you and I and everybody else could go swimming that night. Oh. And then I would be terribly remiss if I didn't talk about Sunday the 7th, because these are the activities that will be taking place at the library and our birthday cake and cider celebration. So Guy Drollinger and a couple of his friends will oh, be providing yes. music, which yeah. will be wonderful. Yeah. And that starts at 12.30 in meeting room A, and then the mayor will do read a proclamation, and then he and Regina Bailey will do some historic um, readings, and then we'll cut the birthday cake and have cider, and then if anyone mm -hmm. has children and they want to do some activities that are from, an not ancient times, but in <laughs> what the early pioneers in Iowa City would have done, okay. they can go to the children's room. So we have a full three days of activities. So Jeff, this is Iowa City's 175th birthday celebration. A little late, but still in the birthday year, which is just fine. You have a whole year to celebrate the 175th. What do you think it'll be like in 175 more years? 
I'm afraid I can't even imagine. Oh, come on. Forty some years ago, I would never have imagined what's happened to Iowa City now, so I don't think I can imagine. But go right ahead. What well, do you think? I think that there's no question that we would never lose what are the principal downtown structures. They'll be there. But uh, gosh, I don't know what will happen as far as new building, uh, the whole energy conservation and how, right. how will heat and cool buildings is such an important factor. But I can see in my picture of what Iowa City will look like 175 years from now. I see the old Capitol, I see the Pentecrest, I see the beautiful old buildings that are still downtown there. But woven into those buildings, I'm not quite sure. But I sure would like to see some more green space if things have to go. Oh, I agree. In the November episode of Iowa City in Focus, we gave you a preview of the food waste reduction music video we've been putting together. Now we're ready to unveil it thanks to the hard work and collaboration of Jane Wilch in the City Landfill Office, Scott Kepke of New Pioneer Co-op's Soil Mates, and many others in our community. Take a look. Food so good, too good to waste. Prevent or compost, now that's our taste. Use it up, make it do, do without. Buy only what you need, that's what we're about. Follow our strategies and do your part. We know there is love for the earth in your heart. Help our mother earth and your pocketbook too. With all these gains, we got work to do. Together we can do it, together we'll pursue. Let's reduce some methane and save some green too. Thanks for watching this month's episode and keeping Iowa City in focus. We'll see you next year in 2015.